Okay, more basics with the sword. Uh, now I wanted to talk about how we, we've talked about how the sword moves, we've talked about some of the basic positions, we've talked about footwork, now we need to look at combining them. And talk a little bit also about how you aim or target with the sword. Um, if we're moving it in the appropriate method through time, hand, body, foot, then obviously the last thing to move is the foot, and it is also the thing that I aim with. So if I'm gonna be delivering, for example, a fidente strike, a downright, downright blow, we see that angle defined in the cut from the action coming from the side. And in the fidente, the angle is always the same. I never change the angle of that cut. So I've got the downright angle, which is basically on that uh, angle between those two postas, and then I have a Mazzani cut that comes straight out. And always the angle of these cuts is always the same. I never alter it, never change it. The way that I aim and how I define where the blow lands is actually with the placement of the foot. So if I wanted to cut deep into my companion, right, then I would step across that line and the cut would be vested deep into their body. If I wanted to strike just to their periphery, and not hurt them with the sword, then my step would be directed towards the edge of the target so that when the energy is manifested and developed with the sword, it comes to a conclusion exactly in line with where my foot ends up. So if my body mechanic with how I manifest the cut is always the same, the only variable is placement of foot. And that is how I control and direct the fight and how I control and direct the blows. So the last thing to move, the foot, is going to determine where the cut lands.